to love you need love to teach you how to love you didn't hear it to love a right you need love to teach you how to be loved if you want to be a doctor you cannot go to a lawyer to teach you how to be a doctor am i talking to you people the way you are looking at me am i saying something strange oh, oh yeah, i'm a guest i'm a guest you can't be going to a, a an engineer to teach you how to be a barrister the bible said god is love and if you are going to embark on a journey of love with someone the best way to approach it is to go to the one he is not a loving god he is love he did not come to learn how to love he is love his name is love so and when you begin to study someone the end product of that study is that you will become like that one so it becomes easy for one that loves god to love and to be loved because easy it's not by giving yourself and the, and the making up and making you don't begin the the, the 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 equation of love with foundation and the, and the makeup and the good wig and painting your nails and your ears and, the, and your tears and everywhere that's not how to begin how to begin is this man must be a man that knows love and how do you know love is by spending time with love spending time with love it becomes mr right becomes easy to give yourself to one and it becomes easy to make sacrifices because you know what it means to love so i'm hearing what i'm saying therefore i have an advice for young people please spend your time as a young person loving the lord spend your time as a young person loving the lord i can love my wife to stupor because i love the lord in my in the days of my youth you know now i'm getting old i'm, I'm putting away some childish things you know so those days when i was like you amen i love the lord i love the lord with all my heart and all my soul and all my strength so i want to tell you your first love should not be emmanuel or emmanuela your first love should be elohim it's all here what i'm saying if you are here and your first love is not god be preparing for a heartbreak that is why you don't see all the love and all the people you loved when you were secondary school and um, maybe year one year two some of you are still entering whatever it is at whatever level you discover most of them you are no longer talking with them amen so god lovers are always appreciative of what they have god lovers are always appreciative of what they have remember the other time i told you that the number one attribute of god is love but the one number one attribute of satan is lost satan is always lost in he's always lost in he said the pride of life the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes these things are the things you'll find in the world but when you love god you learn from him how to love but you see that agatha boy that you are lost in after he will soon reduce you to a either a children making even if they marry you you are you hearing what i'm saying even if they finally marry you he say okay now pastor say don't don't uh, date a non-believer now he has proposed oh see my ring see my ring they will either reduce you to a children making machine or they reduce you to anything they reduce you to anything they will not allow you to live to the fullest just like god allows us he, he, he has made us kings god god married to us as the church and he has made us kings and priests upon the earth he anointed us with everything we need to fulfill life and dreams to fulfill our vision but you see that young boy he will just pack you somewhere and just be hovering around like a, a caterpillar without bricks so that is why it is important 
that you understand this there was a day i was with my wife and i started crying you know and she asked me why are you crying i said i'm grateful to god for bringing you into my life i'm grateful to god because i don't know what my life would have become without her but you see the other one in the world even if they do it is scope <laughs> it's just scope to whine 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 after whining him you should go and tell the other lady said i really wish that i saw you before i met my wife if not that if not and i'm married now i really i really wish that my wife would just die so that i'll marry you the girl will now this feeling special the same thing he has told another girl she has told he has told it to another one and told it to another one praise god because when you don't know how to love god permittedly it becomes very difficult to love becomes very difficult to love praise god so i appreciate my wife a lot because i appreciate what god has done for me in christ jesus i appreciate her a lot i appreciate her if you can find a man that loves god in the ups and downs oh that baby are you hearing what i'm saying if you can find a man that loves god in the ups and downs hold him tight hold him tight whether it's a is a he or a she hold them tight hold them tight because that one will not leave you nor forsake you no matter how bad things turns out they will walk with you and to fight with you till they come out of the of the tumor praise god when you marry one that performs for god you gotta have a lot of performance in your relationship yes, yes. when you marry performers people who just come to church to perform people who just come to church for fame for to you know to shine or to to blow to make it no it's a very dangerous thing that's why i teach my people we are not serving god so that we'll be blessed but we know that if, if we serve god we shall be blessed in fact we shall not be blessed we are blessed we just manifest the fullness of what god has deposited in us is someone hearing what i'm saying somebody say raw so it is a gift to be single enjoy your singlehood how do you enjoy it enjoy it with the lord enjoy it with the lord enjoy it with the lord they tell you church is too much tell them i've not begun i'm just looking for money so you see the kind of churches i'll build you're not hearing what i'm saying tell them you have not i have not begun when i begin you will know you will see you will know you see you know just like they will tell you ah, if i see money now i will ball here i will ball here i will ball here how we ball is we ball with the lord and sometimes you just wake up and post on your facebook balling with jesus Balling with G O D. You just go and buy fish. Put I say G O D. Hey, come, let's enjoy as a flex. You are just sharing. Somebody's looking at you. Is this one mad? He said, Nah, I'm balling with G O D. You don't know what's going on. Esha that is sitting down here now. So you just enjoy your single with the Lord. With the Lord. I never needed anybody to complete me. I knew I was complete. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? What completes a man is the Spirit of God in a man not a girl or a man it's all here what i'm saying that is why you need to spend time with the lord spend time with the lord first corinthians 7 verse 34 first corinthians 7 34 he said there is difference also between a wife and a virgin the unmarried woman careth for the things of the lord that she may be holy both in body and in spirit but she that is married careth for the things of the world how she may please her husband the one that is unmarried careth for the things of the lord that she may be holy both in body and in spirit both in body and in spirit somebody say both in body and in spirit you are acquiring which for the lord also acquire with your body it's all here what i'm saying don't come here and finish doing spiritual activity and when you are done with church you are done with church you now go and become a worldly person are you following me he said both in body and in spirit 
and the spirit some people it is from here up that is born again from here down it's not born again no they are not in this place i'm preaching it because some people will see what this music but if you know you are here please come out let me surrender your life to jesus they are not coming some people that's why he said it so as a young person i know you are born in but as you are born in born for jesus carry that born as your as your body is born in carry it and meet someone aside i want to tell you about jesus i want to tell you about jesus convert your burning to burning for the lord don't serve god with your spirit don't be a child of god in spirit that's why the bible said he said as you are in the spirit as you live in the spirit also walk in the spirit also walk in the spirit don't abandon your body in your in your service to god don't abandon your body literally literally praise god so he said when you are single you can do a lot for god when you are single we we are still married we are still doing a lot my wife is married my wife is more hard working than a lot of young ladies by five o'clock this morning she was already up cooked did everything she need to do baited two children was still we still came to church before so many young ladies so many young ladies and i wonder what you are doing what were you literally doing this morning at home as, as a young person you are bathing i can see how voluminous you are You, 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 need, you, need to, you need to be carried to the bathroom so, so that by the time they finish washing your back 30 minutes has gone then you come to the front you now need, need two years to, to wash the front stupid things people do I say the way you what, this, what, this one you are serving God like this and you are still single what will you do if you, if you get married? we have one or two mothers here go and ask them you don't you don't know the pressure you don't know what it means to take care of one, one child you don't know what it means some of you they will leave you with a child one hour you are tired you are exhausted <laughs> very serious mark and avoid you no, no, and the story my wife showed me some time ago. A young lady, the wife, I don't know what, what did you call what's the name they call it? They say post is it postpartum so I'm just, gonna, I'm just, gonna, just find a name and name it. She was the child was disturbing and crying and crying. She flint her child. And the child died. He said, hey, I don't know what they they now called it postpartum sacramentum cramacanta. They just find one name. He said, yeah, she was not, she was not herself. But it's stupidity of, of, of nothing. Some of you, you need to go and find a married woman and pet yourself with them. Now, you need to find a married woman and pet yourself with them. But the moment you go, two minutes, eh, you have lecture. You know you didn't have lecture. It's to go to Okay's house. Okay has called you. Okay, okay, it's okay. By the time Okay is done with you, you will know that it's okay. And it's not okay to spend time with you, okay? So I hear what I'm saying. The unmarried lady cared for the things of the Lord. Care for the things of the Lord. I was I was so pissed, man of God. I was so pissed when I asked some young ladies to cook. And they cooked. It was a crooked cooking. Crooked. That period, my wife was not home. I was eating in royal spot. Eating royal spot. I told her, I said, you, you don't know what my wife is doing for you. You don't know. But my wife would say, in in one go, cook five soup with stew and rice and a lot of things. Pack them in the fridge. You, you, you think uh, you see her just moving, doing it, doing it, doing everything. You don't know. It's an energy she grabbed by studying and learning and understanding. Sort of you to come and learn. You, you, you are thinking somebody is disturbing you. Somebody is disturbing you. Who has even disturbed you? Shama. Moment you are hungry, pizza. Thank God for 
prayer spot. Let them keep patronizing you. Amen. The unmarried lady cared for the things of the Lord. And she does this by keeping herself holy both in body and in spirit. And in spirit. As a single person, you can pray for so long. You can pray for so long in your house. Just praying and just praying and just enjoy yourself. You can pray all night. You can pray all night. I thank God I have so many rooms. My wife, my wife don't disturb me when she's praying. Go to other rooms and pray. I'm a pastor, but I can't be sleeping and you're disturbing me. Don't, don't try that in my house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't try that. When I want to pray, I don't disturb her. If I discover she's so exhausted, I go down to the parlor and pray. And pray. Because I'm married. Is all hearing what I'm saying? I am the head of the house. But when she is sleeping and I want to pray, and I know I know it will be intense. I go down to the panel and pray. Not disturb her. But when I'm single, I can wake up and in the middle of the night. You can't do it when you're married. My friend, stop disturbing me. I didn't marry Holy Ghost. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm saying this for some of you. That some of you, especially ladies. Your husband wants to rest. You, you, are, you are doing that. You, you, are, you are communicating with Jehovah. Elu, elu. You go and you go and meet Jehovah. It's not in my house. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. When you are single, you can do a lot. You can do a lot. That's why some of you are so privileged to see to sit down and you know do these things. And you are complaining. You are coming for quiet as I quiet quiet uh, no just quiet as I. No, no. In those days, we used to go to write exam from Kwayare Hazard. One is normal. And I didn't write any exam that I failed. Not one. Not ever. I didn't write any exam that I failed. I'm too smart for that. Don't belittle yourself. You, once you have the exam, you everything church. You just pack and have scorn from everything. So what is what is happening? Hmm. We have exam. We have exam. You are the first person to write exam. You just told me how lazy and lousy you are. That's just what you said. That thing you are saying, you just shows how lazy and lousy you are. Because if you go to school and come back, what you are supposed to do is to summarize your notes. What they taught you that day, summarize it, put it down somewhere. During the exam, read your summary and go and smash. Go and smash. That's what we do. Also, you pack them up, pack them up, pack them up. Then during the exam, you are reading. There's no space. You, you now pack them here. By them is not entering. You now pack some here. And pack some here. Some, some even right here. Praise God. You can fast for so long. You can do anything you want. As a single person. It's just like some of you. As on Friday. After, after prayers. Most of them didn't go home. They just go there and buy bread. And mineral. And come back and stay. To a rehearsal time they'll start. Then in the morning they didn't even go. They were still loitering around. Come and try it as a married person. You will live in church for two weeks. <laughs> you will live in church for two weeks. You will understand. So friends, give your time as a single person, as a younger person, to the Lord. It's enjoyable. It's beautiful. Praise God. When you deepen your relationship with God, you know, you would start understanding how easy it is to love. You will start understanding how easy and how beautiful it feels to love and be loved. Praise God. When you see a young girl and you know and you love the Lord, or you see a young man, you don't see them as a as a as a the one now that will take care of all your problems. You see a young girl, you don't see them as a as a sex toy. You see them as this is God's child. Ah, how can I contribute in their life? Because if you understand anything, love, and it's not sacrifice, you have understood from the devil. The devil was your teacher. Is someone hear what I'm saying? Anything you understand that is love and it's not sacrifice, you have under is the devil that taught you. The devil that taught you. So when you see someone, you are thinking of a way to be of good and benefit to their life, not to withdraw and withdraw and withdraw and withdraw and take from them. You are not thinking take first when you talk of love. You are thinking give. Someone here, the one saying. Number two. Number two. 
Remember, as I'm teaching, maybe your question is from my teaching. Write it down as a question. Any other relationship question, write it down. We'll try and give attendance to them. Number two, you want to be Mr. Right because the secret to finding Mr. Right is to be Mr. Right. So, what do you do? Seek to be a whole person. What did I say? Seek to be whole. Seek to be whole. It's not to be fat. Uh, is someone here what I'm saying? I do not say seek to be fat. I do not say seek to be blows, to, to be large. Seek to be whole. Seek to be whole. Seek to be whole. There are a lot of people that are not whole. In two years, you have been in two years relationship. How many of you saw the clip where one prophet they told a girl you have 23 boyfriend? That girl is learning work to where some of you are. Yeah, Yay, it's true. She's learning work. You can't be whole. You can't be whole. You can't be whole. Eh? You are not dating Vivian. Is someone hear what I'm saying? But every time you are getting gangly at Vivian because of what Amanda did. <laughs> okay, he's gone two years ago. But every time you are talking to a maker as if a maker is okay. He said, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Did I do anything to you? He said, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's what okay did. That's what okay did. Yeah. You can't be whole. You can't be whole. I have told you the best antidotes to these things, especially young ladies. You guys are on the better side. But the thing is that you don't understand that that right and privilege you have will soon be taken if you take it for granted as you are single be make friends make friends oh i love you so much i can't live without you it's okay let's be friends let's be friends already we are friends just so we'll just be we'll, let's be friending friending doesn't mean i should not be cooking for you friending does not mean i should not be washing clothes for you as he's now as you are now washing the clothes, you will now say, I like the way you wash it. <laughs> See the way you are just washing it so passionately. Wife material, 200 million years. He says, Stop it now. Stop it now. Stop it. Stop now. Stop now. He will, he, will, he, will, he, will, he will now come and, uh, and touch around. He said, Oh, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Let's see you close the door. Let's <laughs> see you run and uh, enter room and close the door. You can't be whole. Oh. Can't be whole. Uh, seek to be whole, friends. Seek to be whole. You don't need anybody. If it is money, work. And I tell young ladies, it's easier for a lady to do business than a guy. Yeah? Very easy. You bring a product now to a man. If they, even if they don't want, they will just they will just somehow patronize you. Or if it's a guy, if it's not something the person really wants, it's like getting something stop stop stop. If it's a lady, so if it is money, it is easier to make money. My wife knows a whole lot of her inspiration. Is a, there are a, you don't know many girls. You say you just see them. You just conclude that a boy bought them the car. Some of them have online platforms that they are selling a lot of things, selling a lot of things, making money for themselves. They bought their car. No, nobody bought for them. But you just conclude. Oh, he has. She has a rich boyfriend. 
she has a rich this is either her dad is rich or her boyfriend is rich so the moment you calculate it like that you give yourself a reason to remain the way you are until you find a rich boyfriend he said i'll be a fool to go back to my old poor boyfriend now now you are a fool you are in another one poor boyfriends and you are not a fool praise god seek to be whole seek to be whole stop jumping from one relationship to the other you're not helping yourself you're not helping yourself seek to be whole mm. i cannot live without you it's a it's a mirage so it's a lie from the pit of hell they were living without you before they saw you how old was I when I met her? It's very old, a very old man. Now I'm getting younger. Then I was very old. I'm not saying for you to understand. Just, just keep looking at me. Don't need to understand what I'm saying. Are you understand what I'm saying? So, she can live without me. She can live without me. It's not that okay. I can, I can live without her, but she cannot live. We are a two-whole couple that we were whole before we got married so it's easier to love and be loved it's easier but when you find those kind of people where are you where are you going where will you not go where is the future where have you not come they are always pressuring you they are always pressuring you you must be around them because they need to be with you and in you and for you and against you and around you so that their life will make meaning if you leave me i will die it's now with Nkechi. you leave me i will die it's now with Nkechi. praise god so those things doesn't mean anything you want a guy to be telling you those things so that you feel good they once they know that that's what makes you feel good they will tell you they tell you I've never told my, my wife, if you leave me, I'll die. Die how? Do you understand what I'm saying? Die how? Die how? That's a good way to love. My own divided love. The person, if he leaves me now, I'll die. Is God. That's why we started with that. That's the foundation for love. That's the foundation for love. You establish that. It's undivided. Your partner knows that. So he, she doesn't trample on my love with God. That's why some of you did not hear. When Pastor Bishop came here, he said, Oh, she's a good woman. You think that it is just good that as far she is good. Okay. What's the definition of a good woman? But in that respect, what he means is that she allows me to serve God how I want. Some of you can marry me. You've not built a house and you're building a house for God. And you are the wife of this man. <laughs> we will talk about this very, very critically. It is not wisdom. In human sense. You can't marry me. You can't marry me. I just wake up like this. I say, my wife, there's a new investment. I wipe all the money in the house and put it here. You, 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 you can't survive me. You can't survive me. If you are not whole, you, it's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. So you think it's easy yeah yeah oh, that's right. just just flex just flex. we are not flexing it is not flex we are flexing praise god where is the person that told you if you leave me i'll die where is that person that former person if you are not whole as a single person you will strangle whoever you get into a relationship with i'm saying even you now it's not you are finding somebody that is whole you now you whole you now you whole and the number one way is stop jumping into a relationship stop, stop jumping from one relationship to the other you will now jump into the relationship and now start studying the person you are supposed to study the person and know if the, is this this person is the right person for my journey before you now make a decision to enter a relationship you just going to minion chapel today tomorrow you are in a relationship one came here for all and follow the guy and follow the guy home two useless people so 
as I thought so powerfully when I said, now let's start practicing this love now. And the guy is selling a book, selling a book, so selling a book, selling codeine. He's selling. Because you think now everybody is here now. You say you think their head correct. <laughs> you don't know how many demons. <laughs> Hey. Okay, you think I'm married? I can teach you certain things. There are people if they sit you here, sit you down. <laughs> you know that there are some elephantiasis style that you have not even you have not heard of. They will show you the way of 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 the spirit. They show you the way. Praise God. Somebody say raw. I know you have missed raw for for a while, so just trying to help your life and give you some sudden you don't need anybody to make you complete you don't need anybody that's one of the fundamental rules or laws you must know as a single person that seeks to be whole you don't need any person you don't need your wife to feel whole you don't need your husband to be whole you just need God when God is the missing factor the whole there is everything is missing everything is missing everything is missing because when god is not there you will seek to complete that god factor with drinks alcohol with smoking with addictions to different things once god is not there you will seek to replace him with something else you seek to replace him with something else and some with prostitutes i wonder how a human being christian will go to attack Amanda, a human being go to Ateko. You know Ateko. You know Ateko. It's like we we'll switch leadership. <laughs> we go to Ateko and know that this girl, her body count is. And will carry her home and sleep with her. Hey, it's a miracle. Because I can't comprehend it. Can't comprehend it. How? A complete stranger. You don't know whether this person came straight from the water. You don't know whether this person has father and mother. You don't know whether this person is a serpent. You don't know the evil spirit she's carrying. You don't even know the disease she's carrying. You say you are wearing condom. Condom know that yeah. Somebody say raw, raw, raw. Shut up your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. Now, okay, let's say the condom did not tear. Amen. Amen. It did not tear. It did not tear. We believe it did not tear. So, what about the spirit soul connection? <laughs> Between our talk. <laughs> what about the spirit soul connection you are having with an harlot? The person he slept with yesterday was a ritualist. You come and join yourself. To her Lord. And tomorrow you come and be telling Pastor, pray for me. That, that's why several times someone say pray for me. I say, sit down first. Hey, how are you? What's happening? Tell me. How have you been? What's going on in your life? I seek to know first because I don't go, go and just be wasting prayers like that. And tomorrow you count me among the men of God that prayed for you and you know what? The hollow spirit you have slept with said it can never work, nothing can never work, can never make it. Praise God! So, the Bible says, Two holes shall become one. It said, Two shall become one. Those two is one and one joined together. When it is one and half, it cannot be one, it will not join, it's got one half, it can never once it's half. So, you must, if you are not whole or you have meddled in a lot of things. You can begin a journey. Stop jumping and jumping and jumping. 
first that's what you have to do it's not you break off from america today you are with victor if you break off from victor you are with god's power now you now leave god's power you now enter god's way finish god's way you now date the priest you know the priest and god's way are two different things Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in love with your oh, oh. yeah, just loving oh, anything, anything. Amen. Not to have most singles don't leave, they just wait. <laughs> they are not leaving, they are just waiting. When they will now fall in love. Finally. I'm waiting for when when you will down fall in love, they will now put red rose on the bed and on red candles. And now you walk in and say, Oh so romantic there are no red candles in existence anymore no red candles all of them are finished leave stop waiting that might be the whole deliverance somebody needs this night live your life live your life stop waiting live your life the best way to marry yourself is to find someone that is already in a certain direction so my wife loving god no motivation no nothing loving god when there is no usher she usher alone carry the welcome everyone see everybody down we'll collect the offering do everything candidate she was just everywhere just doing everything she can i said oh wow this girl i don't need to motivate her for us to do the things of god i don't need to motivate her so we just loved and even after walking almost all through the service she's standing she's welcoming she's standing she's collecting offering she's moving there she's moving there after service i was follow up director i said we are not going home we just buy coke and cake and start going from home to home for follow-up now while we were going i was checking and then we were still following up the work of the lord and i was following her up but we were following up follow up follow up the work of the lord you full of your babe. That's easy. And some of you now, you know you don't love God, but you, you they will not say, let's go and do follow. You say, <laughs> you now remember Pastor preach. Okay. Okay, let me pretend that's if I love the Lord. Oh, oh yo. Oh, yo. Let's go and do follow. -up. Please don't do follow up. Oh. Find your own this thing. Amen. So it becomes easy. Two people loving the Lord. I already know I'm going to be a pastor. What will I be doing with a market woman? Amen. So leave. How do you feel about you? How do you feel about you? Can you be alone all by yourself and you are happy with yourself? You know, you know, I used to tell some, some guys, you know, it's not every time I say it. You know, when I told you, okay, before I married my wife, I had nothing, I had nothing. If I proposed to my wife, I had already lost five million. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say I didn't have money, when I proposed to her, it was not that I'm a stupid person. I lost, no, it's not, I lost five million. Then I now had to sell my car. And after selling it, I invested the money again after losing five million. So I was sufficient all by myself. I was a sufficient young man. Very sufficient. Pushing on all cylinder. You are just here everywhere, following a girl up and following, following a girl. You need the girl to help you concentrate. You are 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 a mistake. A mistake you need to found yourself so that so that the girl when she comes in you take care of her you hear what i'm saying you hear what i'm saying oh bring somebody else from her father's house so, so that she'll be suffering suffering no amen but well, that does not mean young girl you are not looking for you somebody say you have no hammer go and hammer first no, no. No. look at the vision my wife was there even though she was there she was there when i lost money at times we come to church she is the one that give me money to eat lunch she 
was whole. He didn't say, oh, money, I've finished now. I go back to my ex-boyfriend. She didn't even have one. There was no ex to go back to. I'm the ex. I'm the beginning. I'm the future. I'm, I'm the beginning and the end. Do you get what I'm saying? This is not what you find in this generation. 16 years old has dated 12 people. I'm her beginning and her end. You can't find it. Very rare. There are just two in the whole of Calabar. Just two. You are number one, then the other one is not. <laughs> They are, they are very they are very rare. now let me tell you a woman's value is in that everyone wants you but not everyone has you yes, I'm too precious one man cannot have you a fool you are, you are, you are a peacock are you understanding me? As a woman, everyone should want you, but it's not everyone that should have you. Keep wanting me. That's what that's I'm precious. Keep wanting. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, you don't have an option. Just have to love me. Just have to. Just have to. It does that doesn't make you to open the gates of Jerusalem to the world. Freely enjoy. And you don't take pride everybody wants you no everybody wants you but it's only the one it's only the one that can have you can have you yeah i'm be i'm be i'm be i'm be i'm be, I'm be, I'm be being what i don't know how do you feel about you how do you feel because then now as we are talking how do you feel about you how are you feeling whether you're a man or a woman how are you feeling how are you feeling? But everybody in Calabar has seen your nakedness. They're looking at me. You can desire all you want. You will never see it. Is all here know what I'm saying? Can never. 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 That's what makes you. We'll laugh and just and cheer and uh, 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 uh. that's where it ends. That's where it ends. Retain your value. What has a man? They are rushing on you, rushing you, rushing you. They say it's the oil on your head. Time it dries, you discover that they never needed you. Never needed. Please behold. Always ask how you feel about yourself. No? Don't be taking. It's not how your friends think they feel about you. Say, oh man, oh man, you are balling, you are killing it, you are finishing it, you are finishing it. How do you feel about you? See, you are doing now. Can you be proud for your children to just do exactly what you are doing? Can you be proud. Seek to be whole. Seek to be whole. This person that's not allowing you to leave, they will extinguish your vision. And life in a bit and move on as if you never existed that's the pitiable dism about it this person that is not allowing you to live in the morning wants to be with you in the afternoon wants to be with you in the evening wants to be with you eh, no no your lover should push you to your destiny your lover should push you to your destiny fire you to your destiny extinguish it bring up something they capsule it bring up something they stand scatter it they bring up something they destroy it now you are single you have the opportunity to see it and know it you marry you have married you just have to be praying and believing god you talk if they don't hear you stay married stay there god hates divorce so stay there or if you are if you are single love a whole person you behold sometimes you are shouting and cheering as if it's the other person that is the problem most of you are the problem the problem i don't i never judge a case without listening to both parties 
because the one that is rushing to say it sometimes the one that is louder is the one that has the issue sometimes it's not all the times sometimes so because of that factor i always want to hear from both people and one thing i do is that most times when you come like that if i cannot hear from the other party i'll be listening between the lines to know what is your own problem in that discussion because number one is if you start fixing you the other factor do you know you teach people how to treat you if you are not whole people will easily know it if you marry a wife that is whole you can never slap her you can never touch her you marry a girl with so much low self-esteem some girls even believe that is a, a guy beating them that shows he loves them see how will i know he loves me if, if he doesn't correct me so correcting you is by beating you i have told you before what did i tell you before if a guy lays hand on you call gospel and the, and the, the, the rest of them but we'll handle them in a way that is not nice we'll handle them in a way that's not nice but before we run to that place why did they lay hands on you why oh he's a wicked young man he's very useless he's a very stupid man is that your mouth that led you to anguish it's your mouth is that your mouth that led you to anguish my wife is so wise that she if she senses she, that i'm angry she keeps quiet ahead of time ahead of time she will say call me if it's the one that she knows she needs to call me she if i'm the one i call her oh somebody's angry yeah every time <laughs> in two minutes you have said everything and you have said nothing just blabbing just blabbing because you expect so much from him he should be who told you that a man is marrying you to take care of you Do you know why a man? Hey. <laughs> Vivian. Do you know why they want to marry you? It's not so that they will take care of you. It's so that you will take care of them. That's why. The Bible said your name is helper. That's what the Bible said your name is helper that's what the bible said so you can't be entering into marriage and you're just expecting everything everybody to do everything for you do everything for you that's not what it is that's not what it is praise god so develop your own interest girl develop your own interest interest makes you interesting so what's your interest interest makes you interesting you have you have nothing you are interested in you are just interested in love and where is love so you're always jumping from pillar to post to find love the person that will love you the way you ought to be loved that's stupidity praise god so develop your own interest develop your own interest you are not just some girl just waiting for a rich dude to come marry you and take you to dubai or somewhere praise god Praise God. Were you blessed today? Yes, sir. I have eight more points to give you, but time will fail me. It's already eight o'clock. Clap your hands for Jesus. All right, I don't know any, if anyone has questions. Let's entertain questions. We can finish raw. We can still continue in that series till time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, sir. Um, as of yesterday, I had a conversation with someone, and the person was saying that. Okay, he was trying to tell me that he had this particular girl of his that he dated for six years, and I was like, "What were you doing?" So, sir, he was he was stating from his own point that 
you don't just marry someone. That most people just get married and it's in the marriage they start to know their, their partner. So, so I want to ask, how long will it take you? Because it was actually trying to set an answer that the girl let her marry some other person that pretended to be who he was not. Then let her regret and was trying to come back and stuff like that. So, so I, wanted, I want to ask, how long should one people date or yeah, something? Yeah. For money? It's very simple. Number one thing is to start by doing the right thing doing the right thing don't jump into kissing and romancing and all of that it's all here the one thing once you do that you already start starting on the wrong pedestal even when you see things you will pretend as if they are not there don't pre don't jump into kissing and romancing and uh, some even having sex and all of that that's one number two do things right someone interested in dating you and all of that let them meet authorities you saw and hear what i'm saying if it is your father or your pastor okay before they go and see your father things are now they are now talking about you want to marry full time and collecting list but at least you are, you belong to a church family meet your pastor whoever it is so we will know we'll be watching this person there is somebody here now that told me about somebody that is checking her i say ah the guy is, has a fiance. The, the person I'm telling you is even here now. We were talking, I said, okay, how are you? How are you doing? How about your relationship and all of that? How are you planning? So I wanted to know who is the person. And he, she mentioned the name of the guy. And the guy introduced his fiance to me, December. Are you hearing what I'm saying? These are some of the things. These are some of the things. So, but basically, normally, before you enter a relationship, this one is stable. Introduce, tell, talk to authority to help you. Because you may not know people. You may not know people. Praise God. And thirdly, is always start things on a platform of friendship. Start things on a platform of friendship. With friendship, is there a paper? Okay, that's good. Please, I don't want divine. Sit down. I don't like, I don't know what you are doing there. So before you jump into it, start from friendship. That way, you know them in church, you know their story, you know their meanders, you know their move around, you know a lot of things. Just be friends. Just be friends. Then when you know people want to date, dating should be leading to marriage. There's nothing like, she's my boyfriend and girlfriend. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing like that. That's the world system. That is causing more trouble People are divorcing by second billing. Are divorcing. And yet they still profess they are in love. You now jump out of love and now fall in love again and fall out of love again and fall in love and fall out of love. So develop friendship, build friendships. Then if you want to date, there's nothing like dating to know each other. You've already known each other. But on that one now, you're not knowing extended. You are, you know, you are, the knowledge base is now widening up and increasing getting more personal uh, because there are certain things you can't come now we are friends you are asking me uh, uh, have you slept with somebody are you okay do you understand what I'm saying there are things you can't ask me if we are just friends so but dating now you got to start knowing a whole lot of personal issues you know you sometimes give the lady money to cook for you and try and verify if she cooked it are you hearing what I'm saying a lot of girls don't know how to cook now and so but fundamentally a lot of churches have their own principle for us here when you start dating is when you told your pastor and from then we give you six months to marry so six months even if you have already gone and seen your parents and seen heaven and seen the king of kings it's from the time you gave us because some people they want to rush you they're already pregnant they are telling they are coming to tell you hey pastor uh, our family has fixed our wedding next month it's okay when you finish with your family we we'll wait six months. If you are pregnant, we won't wed you. It's not that we can't join you, but we will not wed you in church. You will come to the office, we pray for you, and you go home. You are married though, but if you are pregnant, we won't join you on the altar. So that six months is for us to know and ascertain whether you have committed. You get what I'm saying? 
so you get it for us here yeah, so many people have their own build friendship ladies and guys build friendship when you start dating max six months shouldn't wear engagement ring on your hand more than six months do you hear what i'm saying somebody will now come and put engagement ring on your hand and leave it there for two years leave it there for six years you are super single you are engaged no so build friendship build relationship max from the moment you start dating six months you should be getting married if it's not that i'll still tell you again if it is not that just be friends just be friends so that if the guy is not ready and somebody is ready and an unready guy will not be blocking the ready guy that is ready to marry and by the time you are done waiting for her for him you will now know that uh, there is someone else he wants to marry praise god did i all right okay please ask your question let now attend to all this one i know once question come questions will start coming praise the lord i'll give it 30 minutes max we'll go praise the lord hallelujah daddy please i want to ask in a situation whereby uh, there's a friend i have a friend of mine that she's not really in, she's a christian she's a believer but she's not really into this relationship she does not like relationship because she believes it's a waste of time and i also have this friend that likes the way the girl behaves the, her activeness in church her activities and the rest but and he does not know how to tell the girl how he's feeling so i want to ask is it right for the guy to tell the girl his feelings and stop dying in silence or she just leave it one time and forget about everything a two things is involved the young lady is not into relationship obviously two things are also involved obviously maybe she has a bad experience that is hurting her or she has an understanding that i cannot be wasting myself with young boys that are not ready for marriage do you understand these are the two things involved so probably maybe we need to find out what is actually it for the girl that's first is it that she has a bad past experience that is still haunting her or she has an understanding that i should be entering the right relationship just like my wife doesn't have an ex he was, was not testing and testing and lesson and finally god now brought me her way or brought her my way anyone so that one is fair second one the guy is having feelings for this girl which kind of feelings is it there because there are several kind of feelings what kind of feeling is it the feeling that oh this is the girl i want to marry or this is this girl i just need to i just need to feel her a little i just want her to be close to me so if he's ready to marry of course go and tell her how you feel you might be also sure the girl is also feeling the same way but waiting for you to come and tell her him tell her how to is um, you understand what i'm saying <laughs> so open up you go to her if the guy is ready to marry you are ready to marry and you are ready to build something solid of course now somebody you want somebody to come and you want pastor to check your wife for you yeah you go to the lady tell her i love you and i really want us to build a future together i'm telling you how to tell what to tell her just tell him so it's this just <laughs> So just meet her and say, I love you. I think we can build a future together. I don't know how you feel. Maybe if you want to pray about it, pray about it. But I'll be waiting for your reply. You take your move. Is this a guy that is confident and knows what he wants? He's not a baby girl. Come to my house. Those kind of rubbish. Did I help you? Yeah. Yeah, bring. Between the woman and the man about to wed, whose church should the wedding be held the woman is all here what i'm saying the woman's church except that's why it is important that you marry from your from your place young lives and guests be looking around find somebody while you are still waiting for dating be be searching be single and searching look around you there are potential young men here don't be looking outside potential young ladies here don't be looking outside we have fine fine babes here so but on a case where the guy is from a different church and the lady is from a different church where you should marry do your wedding is the ladies church you hear what, are you hearing what i'm saying it's simple and short it's just like you know i've seen some so many people arguing all this kind of rubbish or you want to marry a guy and the guy is telling you that the wedding must be done in my church 
doesn't have respect for you now. Because let's go to your, the guy's village and do traditional wedding. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, no, because that's the, less, that, that's the last respect you are paying to the people that have taken care of the lady all these years. That's the last respect. You marry a lady now, if she wants to travel to her hometown, she will have to take permission. Unlike before. Now she is now a native of Anna. My wife is from, was from Oka. Now she is from Imo State. Since we married, is only going to work out for a program that she has gone. She has never told okay, our people is coming back home and she goes. No. But last year, is it last year now? Last two years. Last two years, we were in the village. Uh, 2020. We were in my village. She's from my village. When they were burying my father, they were calling her. Uh-huh. They had meeting. They had this one. She is now from where I am. So when we were there in my church, because two of us are from my church, so we are in our church. So, but in a case where this person is from somewhere, that's your last respect for the woman and the people that has her. It's all here, what I'm saying. So, that should not be an argument. So, a lady, you are dating a guy and he doesn't understand this. Try making him understand. If he doesn't understand this, he will not understand so many other things. You didn't hear it, too. You didn't hear it. You should respect your father and come and do the trading. That one, they know they argue that one. But once he comes to church, Church is as irrelevant as all this sacrifice and pain on, on uh, thank God some of you are marrying dominants. Uh, you, you, you now wake up now and, and say and say I should come for your wedding in grace of God. <laughs> After giving you 50k. <laughs> eh? Thank you, Miss Ro. Putting your face out there. After training you, shouting at you, training you, doing all, all my suffering. You, you now want me to come for your wedding somewhere. Something must be wrong with you. I won't come. That one is here. And I'm not even afraid of what will be the repercussion. You will not give me money. That's rubbish. The man should pay his last respect for the family of the people. The family includes the church that owns her. So, but best for you, marry from the church where you are. And you save yourself a lot of stress. All the people I was looking at marrying was from the church I was going. I wasn't looking for a girl outside. Looking from within. Praise God. I am in a relationship, God bless you. For three years, you are doing well. <laughs> we build in, but started without these principles. Okay. Thank God for Zimina with this light. What do I do? Should I still keep the relationship and be friends? Should we keep dating and hope to change? Dissolve the relationship tonight. <laughs> Serve the person breakfast <laughs> whoever you are you know thank god i don't know thank god you do not stand up even if you stand up and i know you that's what i'll still tell you when the foundation is destroyed what can the righteous do there's nothing you can do the trust in that relationship has been broken a whole lot of things have been tampered with you will not have it i tell you i tell you you are learning from celebrities you are seeing the myriad of divorce the myriad of cancarous and nonsense things they are doing everywhere. I learned from them. They still tell you, okay, they did all these things, but they are still living together. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's, that's the symbol. Break the relationship. You can't be friends. You hear what I said? You can't be friends with somebody you have had sex with. You cannot be friends. You cannot. It's not possible. Anybody you have had emotional tie with and you are breaking up, break up. Break up. Break up. You can't be friends. That does not mean when you see the person, you face your front. Good morning. How are you? You go. There's no, there should not be every time people are still chatting. That chatting is people are still in a relationship. That chatting. Because what do people that are dating do? Is talk often. Can't be chatting. Can't be hi, hello, hi, what have you eaten today? All those things. You have to end it. You are not enemies, but you are not friends. Does not mean you cannot greet. It means you people cannot be talking every time. And you are still telling the other person, saying, we are not dating now, we are just talking. We are just friends. You cannot be friends. You cannot be friends. Amen. Don't know if I helped you. If you want further this thing, you come. Is there anything I'm missing? Should I still keep the relationship? No. Should we keep dating and hope to change? No. Amen. Just break up and start building yourself because 
what made you to do what you did is not in okay now i have known okay? you are not stronger than your emotions are you hearing what i'm saying you are not i'm not i'm not that's why when i go home i become a man i have children and you know what that means may god give you understanding in a situation whereby the guy is insecure about you and you are innocent how do you go about it as a lady fundamentally you guys have lost the trust factor which is you have committed yourself so you keep monitoring you if you gave it to me that's how you'll be giving it to other guys so you you can't change it it will keep pestering you keep where are you what are you doing what are you doing that's why what you should do is to end it and let him see you can live without him first and he will not be peeping and knowing and checking and knowing whether you are sleeping in God's power's house. You did not sleep there. Did you sleep in water's house? You did not sleep there. Did you sleep in Ethan's house? You did not sleep there. Did you sleep in every and she, he will he will keep checking to know. But by the time he keeps checking, he just sees that you are just serving God and doing loving the Lord, just loving the Lord, living your life. You're just living your life. Even if somebody is talking with you now you have broken up he can't have the right to call you and be questioning you anyhow he said what's the meaning of that please stop that and you walk out are you hearing what i'm saying behold that's the that's the answer behold get it behold when you are whole it makes it a lot of it makes it a lot easier i don't ask myself or my wife unnecessary questions who is that in a place when was the last time i asked you who is that it has never happened. Who is that? Who is that girl? Who is that boy? Who is that son? Who is that? No. I trust her. She trusts me. I said to it. Don't need to be here. So you have already broken the trust factor. It's not by proving to him that you are not doing it. He will still believe that there is a tendency for you not. So the way to do it is to end it. End it. End it. End it. Just hear what I'm saying now. End it. End it. End it. Then maybe after six months, if you want to start up a fresh communication, then start it the right way. Meet in church, meet in a, a restaurant, and talk, discuss on a fresh note. Come bring back. If he tells, if you try to bring back the past in the present, you walk out straight ahead. Respect yourself. Tell every lady around you, respect yourself. Respect yourself. Praise God. I hope I've helped the long lady. If you still need further, you can always come and meet me. So, in a situation whereby you are in a serious relationship leading to marriage and your partner shows that he loves you but hardly says it, what should I do? Because ladies love to hear those words. Tell him, baby, tell me you love me. Tell him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tell him. Sometimes I forget. Tell my wife. She will tell me, me, your pa, I forget. Tell me, his baby has been two years. You told me you love me. That day, he said, I love you. Babe, I love you. Sweet, I love you. Honey, I love you. Baby, I love you. He's love you, you hear that day. Just love you. Of course, ladies love it. To hear it, love it. So tell him. Communicate how you... It's not you start carrying face. I don't know what... The, you may be carrying face. And I'm trading. I'm not seeing your face. I'm looking at you. But I'm not seeing your face. I'm not in your heart. I'm not God. I cannot know the heart. It's only God that knows the intents and the thoughts of a man's heart. I'm not there in your heart. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tell him how you feel. Tell him. Tell him. Touch him, babe. You don't like what you did. Babe, you have not told me you love me since today. Oh, I'm sorry. I love you, babe. I love you. I love you. Say, it's because I told you that... You are, you are not saying me. He said, but I've said it anyway. I'm like, I love you. Amen. Amen. Look at how they are looking at me. Amen. All right. Which is more important in a relationship? Being loved or being respected? If you are loved, you'll be respected. You can't be respected and not be loved. You can't be loved and not be respected. So it's, it's, it goes hand in hand. So anybody that says they love you and not respect you is a lie. They lie. I love my wife. I respect her. I don't embarrass her outside. You can't be talking to your wife anyhow outside. Say this person is your, you, you are in a relationship with this person. 
and you are not mindful of where you people are be shouting at her in front of people no matter what she has done but no matter how she annoys me now you won't know I'm angry at her it's when we get into the room I say yeah don't try that thing again I, I, I express how I feel inside the room my children doesn't know I'm not happy with her nobody in the house will know do you settle it inside the room it's not you come outside and you are talking to somebody anyhow are you mad no respect them if you love someone you should respect them and of course for ladies you know you should go to the school of respect because all this you are, I love you I love you I love you I love you if you don't respect a guy there's nothing it's not having sex with a guy that shows that you respect them it's respect them that shows them that you respect them and love them so respect him respect him I don't want to go deep into some other matters that the devil is selling to you people and you people are buying it is it okay for you to continue dating a guy that is scared of marriage because he grew up in a divorced home and at the process lost his mom it is not okay are you hearing what I'm saying that thing that's making him scared when he would have wasted your time for 10 years he will still tell you babe I'm still scared I'm still scared so it's not okay you shouldn't even be dating him in the first place that's why you should know in your talking and conversations you should know these things yeah? allow people heal before you start dating them allow people heal before you start dating you yourself allow yourself to heal don't use people to heal heal live and heal before going to enter in a relationship so it's not okay it's not okay they will waste your time 10 years they are still scared but in that 10 years they are sleeping with you you are cooking for them you are doing it you are a mini wife that will never become a wife mini wife and i used to tell my girls i say you just you just need to be smart some of these boys they waste your time when they are 35 they can still marry when they are 46 they can even at 50 they will look around they will find somebody they will marry but it will be difficult for you so be smart too. be smart we are not the same we are not the same We're not the same guy can wake up anytime and decide to marry and will find somebody to marry not the same with you so be smart praise god i think i've done justice well clap your hands for me i know you are all right all right father i thank you for your people lord i pray everyone that their heart is broken mend it anyone in a toxic relationship i break it anyone that is ready for marriage give them their spouse in the name of jesus amen all right can we have the youth president as we enjoy and cut the cake somebody put those hands together